The sixth pair of confusion is warning and blackmail. When I looked up the word slash word forms threat in the the source, the word slash word forms threat relates slash relate to warning and to blackmail. Permanent records from schools and from criminal backgrounds can be blackmailed from having a positive life. Threats of prosecution or of persecution for violating any ridiculous law can be blackmailed from having a personal purpose. Because of these, authority figures can give fear to the general public. And because of these, we, including me, label authority figures as the bad guys. The seventh pair of confusion is avoiding and having fear. Let us never forget that authority figures give fear to the general public by their legal profanities with posted notices and slash or with voice. Some fear can get you out of trouble, but some fear can hold you back, thus having no purpose. The eighth pair of confusion is courage and rebellion. The pair of speak it up slash back talk is included. When the statistics are negative that the law field has the advantage in life domination, we have to speak up about what is wrong in the law field to free the miserable people from the jails, physical or mental, of fear, thus cueing happiness. Authority figures have too much respect. Law-abiding people, I call them as fearful slaves, would say, what if I get arrested for not honoring the law? Or what if I go to heck for not honoring the law? We are going back to the confusion of faith slash lie. For a specific quest, are we going by faith regardless of the negative, truthful evidence about us? Or are we going to accept the negative truth about us? Obedience and courage do not mix. The ninth pair of confusion is custody and kidnapping. Have you heard that someone says two can play at this game? If authorities have a right to kidnap people in authorities' custody for violating authorities' outrageous laws, why cannot the pawns have a right to kidnap their enemies, including the authorities, for violating the pawns' laws, as in citizen's arrest. I can legally have my own police force. The inspiration that I want to have my own 
police force is that malls, schools, and airports respectively have their own police forces. To put the only authority figures into custody for bullying our lives by enforcing their outrageous laws that do not make any sense so victims slash arrestees cannot do their own nonviolent activities anymore. The only authority figures want to turn America as their own playground because I can see American flags on law enforcement vehicles, on law enforcement uniforms, inside courthouses, outside of courthouses, inside schools, and outside of detention centers slash jails slash prisons slash schools. And because America is about the law and because the law is always right by selfishness. Part 3 will continue next time.